Hello everyone. I'm here today to share with you my third project made using uh, Claire Charville's Facebook Lives, which she's doing every fortnight, which you can go onto my creative spirit shop and you buy the class and then you join the Facebook group and you get to craft along live. So you get a PDF and access to the videos. So even if you can't make it live, you can go back anytime. So this was a gatefold album with a little stand. So it holds up like that, but you can't see it then with some nice little legs. So then the album just comes out and you've got the stand. So you can decorate it whatever way you want. So I've used some um, cool cats dies to make this belly button. I think it's the walrus ones. And I've used some Nitwits photogenic paper as well. So I've gone for the jade this time. I haven't used the jade before. So that's the stand. And then here's the album. Now it's quite a big one, so I don't know how I'm going to fit it into shot. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put some images here. There's a nice camera image which I might put here at a later date. But this is just a slider. And you can see now where the join for the album is hidden. So again, the photogenic paper, the same as I used on the stand, and just gone for the plain jade ones. So I've kept the colour tones on this quite simple. I've just gone for the jade and a, the blue, the eggshell blue, and a taupe, which you'll see later on. And I've just repeated it as I go through the album. So as you can see, it's a double spine. There we are, there's the taupe. And all the pages were built exactly the same. So it's quite a repeating tutorial she did. The fronts I've cut using my Cool Cats photo slot die. So you probably can't see very well, but what you've got is a nice photo space on the front to put your photo in. So it looks a bit plain now, but it's ready for photographs. It's built onto a pouch. For now, I've just put some tags in, but you can put more photos in there. So this then flips up and I've got another cut with my photo die. And then the belly band was the same walrus belly band that I used at the start. So you get a die to do the black, the inside with your pattern paper, and you get two more dies to make your center pieces. So it's a brilliant handy set. And as you can see, decorative and functional. Okay. So for now, I've just put some the tag in there. But again, you can put your photo in there. So each page then had a pocket and in this one again I've used the belly band and this time I've used it on the edge of my photo wallet just to add some interest and as a protect, uh, protection when you're sliding your photos. Again I just put some tags in for now you can see the jade, the blue and the taupe. So the inserts I've actually done three pocket ones and she showed a different way so that you'll see that coming up in a bit. So as I said, each page now is pretty much built exactly the same. This is where I dropped my memento, uh, my distress ink. So luckily a photo will go over that. Here, I've used my off cuts of the paper uh, to cover just the plain back. And again, I've added more belly bands. I did cut a lot of belly bands for this project. But you see, later on, I've tried to get the colours moving along. So here's the taupe one. Again, there's a pocket here for your photos or your tags. Photo slot, photo slot, belly band. But the insides of the ones here 
are just plain, just a big photo mat. Okay. So the way I've done my colors is when you open it up now, they just follow through. So the blue goes all the way across through your flap, your belly band and your pocket pouch here, which slides in. You see belly band, belly band, belly band. I think I like these belly band dies. So the taupe, the jade, back to the blue and the taupe. And then the inside is all jade again, just to go with the cover. And that side, so again, more belly bands. And then you've got a nice big space on the center. I don't know, I could add some pockets or something to the inside here. But I've just left it plain like we did in the tutorial. So then you just fold it up, alternating, and it'll all slide together. And then the slide closure goes in and into the stand. Amazing project, I really liked making this. It's the biggest one I think we've done so far. But I really enjoyed this one. I think keeping the three colors kept it quite classy. And I gotta say, I think I'm gonna be buying a lot more Cool Cats dies after using these ones. Oh, and the tags, I cut using some Lisa Horton dies. And there we are. Hope you like it. And if you do, you can still buy the tutorial. Obviously the videos won't be live, but you can still go back and watch and craft along and make this project yourself. So head to my creative spirit for the tutorial and maybe next live we'll see you there. Thanks for watching and see you again.